That was the moon as the PDP governorship aspirant, Chief Solomon Edebiri, marked his birthday with the less privilege as a way of making them have a sense of belonging. Some of the orphanages visited by the PDP governorship aspirant include Oronsaye, Abeni and others where they exchanged pleasantries with the children as part of the birthday celebration. Speaking at the various orphanages, the PDP governorship aspirant, Chief Solomon Yebosa Edebiri said he chose to celebrate his birthday with the less privilege because they are the people that is truly needed by the world to do. The PDP governorship aspirant said over the years, his primary constituency has been the less privileged, hence the need to always identify with them at all times. Um, we have just come as part of uh, my birthday celebration to celebrate with uh, our children who live with God, who live under God's care. So this is my widow's mind that you should uh, uh, add to what you have to look at this after these uh, children. It's not, the, it's not the end. I know we're coming here before. It's, 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 it's not also the beginning. But I think what will be different now is we will do this more often than we do before. Some owners of the orphanages while showering praises on Chief Solomon Edebiri described him as a man who has catered well for the downtrodden. He thanks the PDP governorship aspirant for identifying with them and wish him well in his political aspiration. He's there, try to remember the poor. We that have no father, no mother. He seems that we sit to give us food to eat now. When the time comes, he should remember us too. Everybody is having one skeleton or the other. But Solomon Edebiri has no skeleton. Good. That is the most important thing. For the first time, we are looking at politics that will deal with our people. We are looking at politics that will be based on integrity. In that particular area, it has excellence. Some of the children also thanked and sang songs of praises for the aspirants. Fosa Wangwe reporting.